So tonight, um, I wanted to review uh, what I consider one of the uh, signature takedown methods in Russian style. And uh, so we're going to demonstrate it first, and then we're going to briefly discuss the uh, concepts and the principles that make it not only uh, effective but efficient. Because in Russian style, we're looking for efficiency uh, over effort to minimize the amount of effort. So we'll demonstrate it first, and then we'll discuss the concepts and principles. Okay. So, the number of different concepts and principles that are working together here to make make this method uh, effective and efficient. Uh, depending on the, the circumstances of the situation, uh, all or at least most of these concepts and principles are going to come into play to one degree or another. So let's start by looking at our opponent's contact with the ground. If Lewis is standing here and he's got weight on both feet, he has four points of support. One in the ball of foot and one in the heel of foot on each on each foot. So the first concept we're working with is removing support points. The more support points that we can remove, the more unstable that he becomes. So if I'm pulling him forward, I'm removing his two rear support points. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to be pulling him forward along the sagittal plane. But I'm not going to be pulling straight forward. I'm going to want to pull on an angle down. I'm going to use triangulation in the concept, the principle of an inclined plane. If you can imagine the floor being one side of a triangle, his body the other, we're going to be pulling him down along the hypotenuse. If you ever had to lift a heavy object, or lower a heavy object, you know, it's much easier to change the elevation of a heavy object by using a ramp. And a ramp is essentially an inclined plane. It's making the effort lower to, to change the elevation of that weight. So as we're pulling him forward, we're pulling him down on the angle. Removing the rear support points, using triangulation, and the concept of an inclined plane. The next thing we're going to look at is um, the concept of loading a joint. Every joint in the body has a maximum range of motion. Um, and when the joint is moved to its maximum range of motion, if forces continue to be applied to that joint, one of two things is going to happen. Either the joint is going to be injured, or if the body can move, it will cause a position change. In this instance, we're looking to cause a position change. So if we look at the shoulder range of motion here, there's a point where it can't move any further in this, in this range of motion. But because his body can move, we see how it starts to transfer the energy through his shoulder and through his spine to cause a position change. From there, we're going to use the principle of multiplanar motion. That also gets into the principle of a screw. Um, the more planes of motion you use, the more efficient the, the, the movement is. So as we're loading this joint and unloading, instead of continuing to go in just the horizontal plane, we're going to go into screwing movement. And a screw is one of the other simple machines of mechanical efficiency is really just a, uh, a more complex inclined plane. A screw is, uh, is an inclined plane that wraps around the cylinder. All right. So as we move this, uh, this uh, shoulder to its max range of motion, we're going to continue it in a screwing movement to transfer the energy and to, cause, and to cause that position change. And the final principle we're going to be looking at here is the principle of force coupling. 
um, and that is two forces applied to an object to amplify the effect. Right? The simplest uh, example of that would be a push and a pull. As opposed to just a push, a push and a pull has a greater effect on the body. In this instance, we're pulling here and pushing here. Okay? The force coming. So putting all those things together, removing support points, triangulation using the concept of an inclined plane, um, loading a joint and unloading it to cause a position change, multiplanar movement and the principle of a screw, and force coupling. All these things together, you get a very efficient way to take a man to the ground. Doesn't matter if it got bigger than you or stronger, you're using the uh, you're using leverage and the mechanical advantage. You want to hold on to the wrist if you can to keep control of that guy. And generally you want to end up by his head instead of down here. So that's a breakdown of one of the um, one of the core takedowns of Russian style, martial art. And, uh, you can, we've, we've looked at it statically, but you can use it in lots of different circumstances if you understand it from the point of view of the principles and concepts that make it effective and efficient. Make sense, guys? Let's give it a try.